Right, we're here in Sacramento. Obviously, huge news. Henan Burrell is out of his title fight against TJ Dillashaw. Uh, Dana, first things first, what's the status of Henan Burrell? Henan Burrell was cutting weight, and, uh, you know, I, I only heard from the doctor that he, uh, he, he fainted, and his team ended up calling uh, an ambulance, and they came and got him and took him to, uh, to the hospital. From what I understand, he's... Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's doing good. The Bantamweight Championship of the World! Introducing the challenger, Joe Soto! 135 for the challenger! And his opponent, the reigning, defending, undisputed Bantamweight Champion of the World, T.J. Dillashaw! 135 for the champion! Anyway, obviously a tough time mentally anyway. Yeah. What first went through your mind and how did they deliver the news? I just got a phone call, you know, hour and a half before weigh-in. So uh, the quickest uh, change of point I've ever had. And uh, I'm excited, man. No matter what, I just want to show that I'm down to fight whoever, whenever. UFC is going to tell me what I'm doing. I'm doing it, you know. Uh, it's unfortunate that uh, Henry Brown was scared to fight and couldn't do it. But it ultimately comes down to just being the best athlete I possibly can and, and doing the same things. I mean, I could win this fight anywhere it goes. All right, well, best of luck to you tomorrow night. Thanks so much for talking to us, TJ. With the man of the hour, Joe Soto. Joe, life's changed. Yeah, it's crazy. How did you get these, this news? Uh, I was on the bathroom floor trying to cool off. I was butt naked on the tile, and uh, they called my phone, and I answered it. That uh, You need to come down here r real quick. And uh, uh, Sean Shelby and uh, Joe Silva, they asked me if I wanted to uh, shot the title because Burrell was pulling out, and I said, yeah, for sure. No. So what happens to you now? Uh, you, you've got your camp here, obviously. Your opponent changed, game plan changes. Do you do you focus on TJ or do you just go out there and still try to perform the way you want to uh, perform? I kind of just focus on me and see. I try to focus on the things I can control. And uh, I don't know, it's just like every other fight I've been. I've been in a lot of title fights already. So it's just kind of focusing on yourself and make sure you're putting yourself in good positions and win every position you get into and defend yourself and not take any damage. And, you know, just go out there and, and uh, all the work was done. So just go out there and, and compete. I mean, Joe Soto is an incredibly experienced guy, um, and more so than any other bantamweight on the card or anybody else, you know, at, at 125 or 135. I think it's going to be very competitive. I think it's a wild card fight now, especially because neither of them have had any time to prepare for one another. And Joe Soto is the real deal. He was a champion in another promotion. He's been around a long time. He's a ton of experience. So it's going to be a good fight.